Hello, welcome. In this short video, we will look at the Z transform of a causal signal. We are going to look at the Z transform of a causal signal. Specifically, we will look at x of n alpha power n u of n so this is a causal signal so this definition basically means that x of n is equal to alpha power n for values of n greater than or equal to 0 and 0 for n less than 0 so given this definition we want to find its z transform so by definition x of z is equal to the summation n equal to minus infinity to plus infinity x of n z power minus n and since the definition of x of n in this example is alpha power n into u of n the summation will be reduced to summation n equal to 0 to infinity alpha power n z power minus n this can be rewritten as summation n equal to 0 to infinity alpha into z inverse whole power n so now this looks like a geometric series where alpha z inverse is like a the uh, parameter in the geometric series that is we have the geometric series n equal to 0 to infinity a power n which is equal to 1 by 1 minus a for values of a less than 1 that is absolute values of a less than 1 this is equal to 1 by 1 minus a so now by equating a to or equating alpha z inverse to a you can write that z transform as 1 by 1 minus alpha z inverse provided absolute value of alpha z inverse is less than 1 that is alpha z inverse is absolutely less than 1 therefore the z transform of x of n is equal to alpha power n u of n is given by x of z is equal to 1 by 1 minus alpha z inverse where the value of z that is absolute value of z is always greater than absolute value of alpha that means the ROC of this z transform is outside the circle of radius alpha that is so the ROC of this z transform is the whole z plane outside the circle of radius absolute value of alpha that is the radius of the circle is equal to absolute value of alpha so to summarize for a causal signal given by x of n equal to alpha power n u of n the corresponding z is given by 1 by 1 minus alpha z inverse and the r given by the whole z plane outside the circle of radius absolute value of alpha thanks for watching